at the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority depot in Nakuru Town. A hive of activity unfolds as workers load bales onto trucks. The staff are aware that delays with the delivery of their precious cargo could have ripple effects in far-flung regions. The task ahead is clear. Load and dispatch 290,000 mosquito nets destined for Baringo County. This distribution is part of a broader campaign by KEMSA, aimed at distributing 10.9 million nets across counties where the disease continues to pose a serious health threat. Funded by the Global Fund in collaboration with the President's Malaria Initiative, this program aims at distributing treated nets to 22 malaria endemic counties. We are very excited as KEMSA family that uh, we have been involved in the last mile distribution of L Alliance, the long lasting insecticidal nets uh, for 18 counties. Now currently we are doing Baringo County where we are distributing about close to 300,000 nets. That would, uh, you know, would, would mean uh, if we give like four households, four per household, of a million people uh, being protected. Our main target, of course, are children under five, pregnant women uh, will be saved from the scourge of malaria. This is a great, uh, you know, intervention. LLIN is a big, you know, intervention. This shows if we, we all put our heads together, our efforts together, using what the country has, including the expertise of KEMSA in the last mile distribution, we will go a long way in ensuring that uh, funds that are located uh, from our partners, from the government of Kenya, are used prudently to do what we are supposed to do, and that is saving lives. We do not, as KEMSA, at any time, you know, uh, map out the uh, posts. We are given those posts uh, by the stakeholders, led by the ministry through the State Department of Public Health and Professional Standards and the National Malaria Control Program. So when they do their detailed microplanning, and this is a product, uh, you know, an encounter between the counties and the sub-counties and the national program and the stakeholders, they will see, you know, it starts, you know, a while back, you know, for like for uh, over here back to, to identify those posts. So we are given those posts, uh, you know, completely marked with the numbers and, and then we deliver to those. So en route, security en route, very important to make sure that the nets are very secure and reach the intended destination. I, I don't know whether you've realized uh, we just witnessed a lorry load uh, being, being locked, you know, we have those locks that are sensitive uh, to touch and anyone trying to interfere with the, with, with the locks along the way, it will send a signal to some of our officers whom we have designated to ensure that uh, they, they receive, you know, when, 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 when the nets arrive where they're supposed to arrive. At Musereche Dispensary in Eldama Ravine, a sense of relief and excitement fills the residents as they await to collect their nets. Local leaders, health officials and representatives from the Ministry of Health are present to witness the event, which marks a crucial step in enhancing community health. The reasons why we've launched uh, here in Eldama Ravine, or why Eldama Ravine was selected because of the island malarias, and also we have Baringo South because of the irrigation schemes in Baringo South and Mogotio because of the data or the figures coming out in terms of the malaria prevalence in that area. It really call upon the people of Baringo County to embrace or receive the nets and utilize them to ensure that we control the spread of malaria. Uh, the other thing also is we call upon the people to ensure generally we are trying to go the route of preventive than curative. And the main purpose for that is because it's more expensive to cure or to treat a person already infected with malaria rather than preventing it using a mosquito net or using the simple methods that includes the removal of stagnant waters and also clearing of the bushes within our home states. So I call upon the people of Baringo County and generally the people of this country 
to follow the simple procedures of prevention than curing. For many residents, a common enemy becomes active in the evening. Kwa majina naito wa Meru Wamboi, siku ya leo ni muniko na furaha, sababu wa tuto wangu watalala, ndani ya neti, umbu, watalala kabisa, watakuwa na furaha. Kwa sa wako na furaha siku ya leo sababu, wamesu mbukana na maleria, kila siku ni dawa, 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 lakini nimeshukuru leo sababu nimepata neti. Ay, nilikuwa na mesu mbukana na maleria, Sana sana kwanza ya umbu sababu ya maji zimelala huku tamemetapaka. Huku kwetu unajua kuna nyesha maji na teramuka kutoka huku mlima. Sasa inakuja inalala huku. Sasa umbu inatusumbua sana. Kununua sabu neti kwa kusema ukweli. Ni pesa mingi sana sabu ni kama elfu moja na. Ata mini mwai kununua lakini. Shida lakini siku ya leo ni huku na furaha sana. Mary's story mirrors that of many families across Baringo, where malaria remains one of the leading health challenges. The battle against malaria is far from over. But with each net that goes up and one night of safe sleep at a time, malaria will be a thing of the past. For Capital News, this is Junior Amunga.